Okay, everybody, second video. Thought I'd come outside. Beautiful weather out here on my deck to do my second video, which is going to be about meal prep. Meal prep, always good to do because, you know, if you have food that you already made that's in the refrigerator, you got to eat it. So um, it makes you not want to go to any, you know, restaurants. Um, you just eat the meals that you make. So as far as meal prep goes, I like to do, and also disclaimer real quick, I am not a nutritionist. I'm just telling people how I um, prep and make my foods and what I like to eat and things like that. And uh, just things that I think has helped me as far as uh, foods go. So um, I like to meal prep on Saturday. As far as writing it down, I will write the stuff down that I know that I'm going to eat and then Saturday since you know people are at you know Walmart or you know in town um, they can go you know get the things that they need or what's also really really good that I recommend is actually to uh, do a Walmart pickup Walmart pickup Brookshire's you know Kroger whatever you have everybody you can even do a, I think it's called Instacart now but you can do uh, foods, um, they send the foods to you to your address, or you can um, go pick it up. And the benefit of picking it up, like a Walmart pickup or Brookshire pickup, is that you can actually uh, not go inside due to, you know, what's going on right now as far as like the coronavirus and things like that. But also it allows you not to go and get the other things like uh, chips and candies and cokes and things like that just put the necessary things that you need to meal prep um, you know but if indeed you do have to go into the store it's always best if you stay on the outside of the store which means like um, you know like at Walmart if you stay you know fruit and vegetables on the outside of the stores and you go to the meats and then you got your eggs and your milk and things like that. Once you go into those aisles, that's where all of the things are that, you know, have a lot of preservatives and carbs and, and things like that. So if you just stay on the outside, it won't tempt you to go into the cookie aisle. <laughs> but so meal prep. So Saturday, I like to write the things down like in the morning, even, you know, Friday, Saturday um, that I'm going to make for next week. And that way, Sunday, you have the items and you meal prep on Sunday for your work week on, you know, Monday through Friday. So, um, like for this week, I'm, uh, we already went and got the groceries that we needed, but um, I picked up a few things that I will put on my next videos um, is um, for dinner uh, for a couple of days. And, and that's the thing, too, is it's, you know, Devin. And me and then Parker and Paisley there's only four of us so we can usually eat a meal and then eat it again the next you know day for uh, dinner as well so um, I told Devin he actually went to the store for me to pick up you know a list of things that you know I needed and one of those things on my list was um, a pork loin um, you can go to Walmart and get those it's a it's it's a long you know meat to pork and it just says pork loin a lot of them come seasoned already and um, you can uh, buy them in the meat, meat section, in the pork section, and uh, you can just, you know, cook it, you know, on Sunday, and it'll be ready for, you know, the week. But what I'm gonna do with the pork loin is actually make a pork loin bowl, and I'm gonna make that uh, for dinner probably Monday night, and it's going to have the pork in it, um, you know, you slice it up, and then avocados, eggs tomatoes and then probably spinach so it's kind of like one of those you know bowls you know that they say so it's going to be kind of like a pork bowl you can even put um quinoa in it if you wanted to and then maybe a little bit of sriracha or something like that so um i'm going to make a bowl like that so some of the things that i like to get at the store you know meats pork chicken lean meats turkey meat hamburger meat steak get those things then uh, fruits like avocados and then tomato tomato tomatoes yep paisley said don't forget tomatoes um so i get um 
fruits, vegetable, uh, fruits. Let's talk about fruits first, actually. So, uh, fruits have a lot of sugar. So, you really have to stay away from high sugars, like bananas, watermelon, grapes. They have a lot of sugar in them. And, yes, they're good sugars, but actually, they do break down into, you know, into your body. And those sugars um, then make, you know, carbs. And carbs are fats. And carrots. Don't forget carrots, yes. And so those, you know, carbs and fats, you know, that's what they do. So if you're going to get some fruits, then I would get berries, like strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, yeah. things like that. And um, then vegetables, you know, uh, I like to, tomatoes, you know, you can get carrots, you know, things like that. But this week for my lunches, we'll be making salads. So they're going to be chicken salads, so uh, chicken breast. So again, Sunday, cook the chicken breast, and then um, you'll have that for the week, and you can just chop it up. And I'm going to do lettuce, and then the chicken breast, almonds, raspberries, and then like feta cheese. But if you don't like cheese, you don't have to put that on there. And then uh, some light balsamic vinaigrette. Devin's allergic to chicken, so... Um, for him, I'll be making, like, beef strips that they have at, you know, Walmart or just, you know, beef and then cutting it into strips um, with lettuce and then some salsa on top uh, for him and some cheese, uh, you know, kind of a Mexican-style uh, salad. So, um, some of the things, like I said, if, if for a healthier lifestyle is just try, I think, first to eliminate things like Cokes, sugary drinks, sodas. Um, Devin and I strictly drink water, unsweet tea, and he drinks black coffee. I don't really drink uh, coffee much. But um, eliminating Cokes, even Diet Cokes, are not that great because of the Fenny in it. Um, and then also it's bubbly, so it can also, you know, bloat you as well. So just try to, I would say, step one for people is to just eliminate Cokes, yes, I like unsweet tea, Cokes, um, and sugary drinks, and, you know, alcohol as well, um, can also come into play, but some of the, you know, protein that you want to get, so if you are going to go, um, to Walmart, eggs, salmon, lean beef, poultry, tuna, cottage cheese, you know, tilapia, those are good proteins to be eating. And I'm looking at this uh, here uh, list that I have. And, um, you know, it says right here as far as the proteins, uh, egg, salmon, lean beef, poultry, like chicken and, and turkey, tuna, cottage cheese, things like that. Carbs, the good carbs are, you know, whole grain bread, uh, brown rice, oatmeal, apples, oranges, blueberries, sweet potato. You have to be careful f with this if you're trying to lose weight because um, you need to go more kind of low, lower carbs. Um, and then vegetables, anything, you know, greeny, leafy greens, uh, red pepper, carrots, mushrooms, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. And then healthy fats are peanut butter, um, avocado, olive oil, and almonds. But you you don't eat a lot of this. The healthy fats, you know, as you can see, it says, oh, just a size of a thumb. You should have, you know, as far as that goes. Um, and you can see it says, you know, palm size with the protein, size of fists with carbs, size of hands with the vegetables, and then um, size of thumb with healthy fats. Don't forget hydration. Water is important. Um, eight, eight ounce glasses of water per day, you know. Um, and then exercise, then exercise comes into play and I'll share more about more, you know, cardio, strength tra training, you know, stretching exercises in more videos to come. But I just wanted to start with, uh, something that you can kind of go off of if you're going to try to do a, uh, you know, meal prep for this next week. But, um, you know, also you have to have one cheat meal, you know within the week and my weakness is Whataburger <laughs> so I mean I at least have Whataburger you know maybe on Friday night um, and that's my cheat meal not cheat day just cheat meal for me so um, just one meal that I look forward to you know at the end of the week 
Um, and then the rest of the time, I pretty much just make my foods. But um, I'll try to have more um, things that I'm going to be making, you know, in these videos uh, to show you uh, how to make them. Also, breakfast. So breakfast, I usually do eggs. Eggs are always the best thing to do. Eggs, uh, eggs and bacon. But I also do oatmeal. So um, I do eggs, two eggs and then bacon sometimes um, and then oats just a quick minute oats you know you can get it in the big tub at Walmart and I put apples and bananas and almond butter in my oats but I will show you in the morning um, what my breakfast looks like and then we'll do lunch and then I will do dinner um, as far as um, you know some ideas on how and what you know to cook for for those as far as uh, meal preps. Actually, I'll probably do that on Monday because tomorrow is Sunday. So, Sunday, tomorrow, I will show you how to, you know, meal prep and things like that. But um, just remember to, uh, you know, just small steps is what it's, you know, going to take and just try to be the best you that you can be. And that's all, you know, you can do. So, um, I hope you like this video. If you want something um, different in the videos, please just let me know and um, I will talk about that as well. So, thanks.